So today we're gonna go over how to install Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager for your high level account. So stay tuned and build along with us. Now, for anybody not really understanding what Google Tag Manager is and what Google Analytics is, let me go over first what Google Analytics. Google Analytics is basically a tracking mechanism that Google provides for us for free that tracks the traffic that goes on inside of your actual funnel or website. Now, it has a lot of other purposes that you can leverage it for, but basically that's kind of the general thing of what it does. It tracks traffic, where it's coming from, how people got there, how many people are currently on your site, and it has a couple of other features of tracking conversions and sales and so forth, which we're not gonna cover inside of this particular training, but just understand it has the ability of doing that. Google Analytics is the whole tracking kind of like ability that it has, and it's a particular way that you can do it. Now, Google Tag Manager is the container that we put Google Analytics in that goes into your website. Now, the reason why we put Google Tag Manager in place is that later on, if you decide to do that advanced tracking, you're gonna have the ability to do so because everything of that sort gets done truly inside of Tag Manager. Now, you could also do it in Google Analytics, but it does tend to be a little bit harder. And actually, it's always been prescribed since I've been learning Google Tag Manager that you put everything in Google Tag Manager and from Google Tag Manager is where you create all your certain tracking automations and everything that you need. Now, we're not gonna get into those specifics. Today is just gonna be the basic part of it, which is one, creating the account, installing it, and making sure that we create a Google Analytics and install that. And we're also gonna do one little bonus item, which is installing Google Search Console that will again help you index your site and get it easily searched throughout the internet and provides a bunch of other little features that we're gonna talk about. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, if you look at my screen, I literally looked up Google Tag Manager. Now, in order for you to do Google Tag Manager, it is important that you sign into your Google account for your business that you're trying to track. So for instance, if I have one business and I want to track 17 different domains because I have 17 different products, I still put that all in the same like Google Tag Manager account and then I create different containers. A container I would say holds one domain per container, but some people like to combine multiple domains in a container. We don't recommend doing that. It gets a little complicated, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And again, this can get overly complex as this moves on. The second piece that we're going to do is once we create our Google Tag manager account, which literally all you're going to do is sign in using your actual email address and then for your actual Google account or your Google G Suite account. And when you log in, it'll be under that account. So I'm going to do the same thing. I did a search for Google Tag Manager. I came in here and it says Google Tag Manager. I click on it. Now it'll automatically log me in or ask me to sign up because I come in here and I was already signed up as my user, which you can see is Digital Voltage, which is the company that I've had forever. And as you can see, I have multiple sites on here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a new container because what I'm going to do is track a new domain and a new business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up on top and you're going to see this create account on the right hand side. Yours might have it right in the center because you're a brand new account right on here. Where we're going to do create an account. Now remember, this is Google Tag Manager. You're going to see this all kind of come together. Just bear with me as we kind of do all this in motion. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here, but more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with a group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guys that'll help you through this and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need. And if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. So I logged into my Google Tag Manager. I created an account. Once I'm in here, I'm going to hit create an account. Once I create an account, I'm gonna put my account name. This one is gonna be called Blissful Basics, okay? And it's just gonna be the account name. I don't need to put a URL or anything like that. The United States is gonna be the country I'm setting it up in. And it's gonna ask me whether I wanna share data anonymously with Google and others. I'm gonna leave that off. And then the site is gonna be blissfulbasics.com. And here it gives me the choice, is it web, OS, meaning it's an app, Android, AMP, which is accelerated mobile pages or a server. In this case, if it's a funnel or website, it's gonna be web. And we're gonna hit create. When we do that, we're gonna basically send our life away when it comes to Google. 
because these are all the terms in service. But like I said, you can't trust Google at this point. We're all kind of screwed. And you notice that it immediately gives me a head and body code. Now, this head and body code is important because later on, this is where we're going to put this on the page. But if you're like, I don't have time for that right now, I'm just going to kind of leave it where it is. I'm going to X out of that and I'm going to come in here and I can either click on that. Well, if I click on that, it's going to give me the same thing. Then I can test it out. But we're not going to do that just yet because we're going to come in here and we're going to leave this up. All right, now that I set up my actual Google Tag Manager account, the next thing I'm gonna do is set up my analytics account. So I'm gonna to go to Google Analytics. I'm gonna click on Analytics and Tools. You just gotta type it in. Again, if you go in here, literally type in Google Analytics, go to Google Analytics login, select the first one. It's gonna automatically log me into my current account. If yours will say get started on the screen, and then what's important is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit admin and I wanna create a new account. Now, it's gonna automatically go to wherever I had my previous organization. This is gonna be separate. So if you already had an account and it's clicked, this box is checked and it's a different domain, what you wanna do is uncheck it. And mine is gonna be called Blissful Basics. Make sure that you uncheck this, add this account to your current organization. I check all these because I do want to know about Google products and services for this business because like I said, I do it all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now, property name is going to be called Blissful Basics. Okay. I'm going to set the time zone to New York because that's where I'm located. All right. And it's going to be US dollars. If it's a different currency, you're going to put in a different currency. But in this case, it's going to be US dollars and I'm going to hit next. Going to go over the categories. This is going to be beauty and fitness. And then it's going to be one to 10 employees because it's a small company. I'm going to hit next. Now, all the things that I want to do with Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager is tracking leads, sales, traffic, user engagement, and others. Um, well, should have let me, I think the second I hit others, yeah, this is new. Okay. So this is mostly what I want. User engagement, traffic, sales, and leads. And I'm going to hit create. Now it's going to walk me through the terms and service. I'm going to hit all of that. I'm going to hit okay. If you want to read that, good luck. <laughs> okay. And now I accept this is going to be a web property, not an Android app or an iOS app. So I'm going to hit the web property. And basically it's going to go to the site, blissfulv6.com. And it's going to be enhanced measurement. This is going to be website. All right. I'm going to track it in the web straight stream. You could put BB for this case, just an initial website. If I wanted to track a particular different, let's say funnel separately, I could do that. But usually I tend to track all the analytics in one into there. And you could see it has, these are all the things it's measuring, scrolls, outbound clicks, site search, video engagement, file downloads. But if I click this little thing, I can uncheck and check which ones it has there. And site search, I can put different query parameters, same thing with page views. But honestly, I just leave these all on and I'm going to hit create and continue. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to actually set up my Google tag. Now, because I already have Google Tag Manager, I'm going to show you what we're going to do to set this up in Google Tag Manager. But let's just say you didn't want to use Google Tag Manager and you just wanted to use analytics. This is the way you would do it. Now, I'm going to pause here for you guys to fully understand. I can go two routes here. I could just set up the analytics account and not set up Google Tag Manager and put this code on the page. And let me show you where that code goes. If I go into high level and I go into a particular account, let's go to sites. And in my sites, I'm going to go to my, I just have a compliance funnel here that we're doing for A2P. I'm going to make this currently live. So I'm going to add my domain here. Notice when you add your domain, all right, this is our coming soon. And I'm going to put my head tracking code right here where it says head tracking code. If I wanted to just use Google Tag Manager, I would come in here. I would copy this and I would drop it right in here. All right, so you guys can see it. This is what it looks, exactly what it looks like. However, I don't want to do it this way. I want to use it using Google Tag Manager. Again, I have my reasons. Later on, when you look at the advanced things you can do, you're going to do them much better inside of Google Tag Manager than you are in Google Analytics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to X out of this. Okay. And as soon as I X out of that, notice what came up. This came up. Now this is important because it's going to have codes and stream IDs and measurement IDs that I need to use. Now that we've gotten our Google Analytics set up, the next thing we're going to do is go to Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to switch back in here. What I'm going to do is oops, I'm going to be back over at the screen. And what we're going to do is hit add new tag. When we add a new tag, we're going to call this DA4 tag, and it's going to be for BB. And we're going to hit tag configuration. And then we're going to go to Google Analytics, and we're going to select the first one that says Google tag. Now, when this is up, what I'm going to do is I got to get my tag ID. If I go to Google Analytics, and in the same page that I have the web stream, what I'm going to do is go all the way down and hit configure tag settings. And when you configure tag settings, 
here is your actual tag IDs, all right? So I'm just gonna grab the one that I need. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put, oh, put that again. I'm gonna drop that tag ID directly in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit triggering. Now that I hit triggering, I'm gonna select all pages and this is my normal Google tag ID. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, that is the first tag that I added. This is my normal tag. But the next thing I wanna do is add an events tag for any events that happen inside of my web page. Meaning somebody clicks on something, somebody clicks on a form survey, whatever it is, somebody buys something, sales, whatever I want it to do, those are all events. So I'm gonna hit add new tag. This is gonna be GA4. Oh, G4, BB, and then this is going to be events, all right? And then just like before, I'm going to click on tag configuration, Google Analytics, Google event, and now it's going to ask me for my measurement ID. Now, if I go back in here, I'm done with my Google tag, and I'm done with this configuration of the Google tag. So I hit X on those two, and then I come in here, and then I got my measurement ID right here. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to come right in here, and I'm going to do it in here for Google tag found in this container, which is great. Triggering, it's going to be all pages again, and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right, value must not be empty. It's going to be for event. Sorry about that. Again, all I did was click on it. It was empty. I clicked on it, and I hit event. Right, so before we leave this page, my measurement ID that I got from Google Analytics on the main page, the event, we clicked on that little plus sign and we hit the event pattern, and then the triggering, we hit all pages, and I'm gonna hit save. All right, now that those two tags are here and they're ready to go, the next thing I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm gonna hit variables. And in variables, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure, and I like to turn all these things on because these are all the possible things it can track, and I want it to start it right off in a good note, so I personally turn all these on because later on, these are going to be things that I can leverage and use. Just trust me, you'll thank me later. You can turn these on, by the way, any point in time during all this, but it does give you the ability of a lot of things to check for, like on-screen duration, how far people are scrolling, whether or not people can see a video, history, and so forth and so on. So now that those are all on, I'm also going to turn and I'm going to hit submit. Now, the first thing it's going to do is publish my container and I can now leverage. Now, remember, Google Analytics is inside of Google Tag Manager and Google Tag Manager is going to be what I put on the page. Now, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit publish and this is going to be V1 for version one and I'll put initial tags as a description. All right. And now it has done all of this. So I'm going to come out of here. Now, if I want to check this and I want to see whether or not it's on the page, I have to put it on the page, remember, because we never did that part. So I was in versions. I'm going to go back to workspace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this GTM thing up here and I'm going to come over here and it's going to give me a head and body code. So I'm first going to grab the head and I'm going to drop this going back to our high level account. I'm going to go to sites. Inside my high level account, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick any of the one of the sites that I'm planning on using. For instance, this is going to be my A2B compliance funnel that I'm doing. And then in here, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to make this domain live. And I'm going to put my tracking code in here on the head tracking code. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go in and put it in my body tracking code. I'm going to come here and hit save, and then this page will then be live. Now, if your page is already existing, you obviously didn't have to add a domain, but now this page should be live as long as I refresh. It should be live. If not, we're going to have to go back and add it, because then what we're going to do is we're going to test it. All right, sweet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to copy this address, and I can test to see whether or not this page is live. So if I hit test, I'm going to get a green check mark to see whether it's good and hit OK, and then that's it. Now, a bonus thing that you can do is now that you have all these containers and everything connected, what you now can do is you can come over here and you can look up Search Console and you can add this to everything that you're doing. So if I go to Google Search Console and Tools, I go to Start Now, it'll recognize that I have a different accounts. Same like before, I add a property. The property name is gonna be Blissful Basics. And because I already have Tag Manager and Analytics, it one might recognize it. If not, I'll have to add a record, but we'll do that together. So I'm going to hit continue. It's going to verify the property. Now it says that I have to add a verification record. The reason why we want to do search console is this is going to allow this domain to be searched by the internet. And we want that, especially for SEO later on. So it's going to ask me, go into Cloudflare, start verification. Um, so we're going to go to our Cloudflare where I have this domain. All right. And this will be your normal domain provider, GoDaddy, Namecheap, SiteGround, Bluehost, wherever you have it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into my particular account and I'm going to go to this Blissful Basics that we have here. 
And now that we have blissful bases here, I'm gonna to go to DNS records. Once I go to DNS records, I'm gonna go ahead and hit add a record. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit start verification. It actually loaded into my Cloudflare, which is great. I'm gonna authorize and let it do it on its own. So my hands are kind of off. It's gonna verify and it's gonna create this new property for me in Google Search Console. The reason this is cool is that all these things can be interconnected through your Google Tag Manager, through your Google Console to make things like kind of interconnected. And then I can go to the property and then it's brand new. It's not gonna have any kind of performance or anything else. What's kind of cool is if you go to analytics and I'm gonna close this out, all right? I'm gonna go back, uh, dismiss, look next. Continue to home. And now it's in my new property here. This is the home. This is where you're gonna see all your reports and everything else. Now, very important. If you wanna pull all these reports inside a high level, you have to do one thing. You have to go to settings and under your integrations, you have to add your Google location that has the access to this. So if I hit continue, it's gonna to ask to sign in, and then it's gonna ask me to select a property. Now, I have to select the property in question in order to get the data coming in. And what's really cool with the new dashboards now, see, I now have to select the page. Actually, I don't have to select the page, so I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna X out of this because we don't have a physical page. But notice it says select the account. I can now come in here. It's gonna go through all my accounts. Here's Blissful Basics. It has the property set. I don't have a Google account yet as far as analytics. But once I do that, what's really cool is you now are gonna be able to pull up the reports, not only there in reporting, not only here in reporting, it's gonna start putting in all your, not your Google ads, but your source report, which is attribution. And it'll start pulling in all the direct traffic. See, it's already pulling in sessions because we're on the account itself. It's already doing that here. So you're able to pull all the information here. The other thing you can do is in your dashboards, you can go down and it's, I believe, one of the first ones, your Google Analytics report will go right here. No data is found, obviously, because we haven't fully you know, propagated and we don't have any traffic going to it. But when you start getting traffic, the dashboard that comes automatically with this system, if you go all the way to the bottom, this will start populating. Now, if, for instance, in this thing right here, what you can do in your Google Analytics too, if you go into admin, you wanna connect your Google Search Console, your Google Ads, you could do it directly here. So for instance, Google Search Console links, I can add the link to Google Search Console, choose accounts. It's gonna to link to Blissful Basics that I created right there, you see that? I'm gonna hit confirm. It's gonna hit next. I can add the actual web stream, which is the website, wherever I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna hit next and I can submit it and now it's connected. You can do this with Google Ads. You can do this with a bunch of other stuff and everything becomes interconnected, which trust me at the end, it's really cool. Everything kind of comes together. Now, what's great about this is it's kind of like the starting of wherever you want to like create different analytics and different things, but this is how you connect it all. So we connect to Google Tag Manager. You now have the container, anything you need to add. And what's really cool is you can come into a new tag and believe it or not, if you go to tag configuration, look at all the crazy stuff you can do and add. Pinterest tags, all that stuff could be added in here. And what's even crazier is you could track different things. There's a whole gallery template that from other third-party software that you can add that you can track different things. As you can see, I mean, literally it is huge. And in analytics, you can create different reports based on what it is. And again, this is not gonna be the full lesson, but as already as you can see, it shows that one person's been there and then it can search by like what page they went to, what key events happened and everything else. But later on, you can look into how to track leads and sales and all that. That is a very complex thing. We don't specialize that in here, but at least now you have all your bases connected. You have your Google Tag Manager, you have your analytics, and we even install Google Search Console, which will help you later on with your search engine optimization and getting your page indexed so it can be searched on the internet. So hopefully that helps and we'll see you in the next one.